Then I found Think Media. Coach, 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 Coach Jason Capson here. Coach Jason Capson here, folks, and today we're going to talk about how I finally got monetized on YouTube. So one of the things that I kind of knew instinctively, I've been doing these YouTube videos for probably two years now uh, with, with you know some effort. I've always tracked everything. I would do the videos, I would post them uh, and just you know watch the view count, watch the amount of subscribers and so on and so on. And it took me roughly, I don't know, a year and a half to get to uh, monetization. It, it took about a year and a half and there were some things that I did along the way. I tried a lot of different things. I tried um, many different niches because I know, or just knew I guess from watching other videos from other YouTubers and YouTube experts um, that finding a niche is really, really important. And I knew kind of where my calling was. I'm a motivational speaker, a professional speaker. I'm an author, but I'm also a dad. I've got a blended family. I've got uh, some experience in personal development, a lot of experience in personal development with regards to health and nutrition and fitness and weight loss. Uh, but I'm passionate about a lot of different things. So I had a hard time kind of finding my way. I did some product reviews. I did some uh, weight loss, some movie reviews. I really tried it all. And I think that's one of the lessons that I can tell you is that you've got to try it all. Someone told me that early on, experiment with some different things, see what sticks. And one of the first videos that really stuck for me was a, a video about Joan McDonald. And Joan McDonald is a kind of a fitness icon uh, in her 70s. And she, you know, transformed her body in an incredible way. And, and she told her story. And I reviewed the little you know story that she told on my channel and it was the first video that I posted on my YouTube channel that really got some traction it got uh, you know it had a hundred views and it got 200 views and it had a thousand views it's got 2,000 views um, so it really was the first one that got some traction so again just instinctively I knew after seeing that and I tried some other you know videos I did some interviews with some incredible athletes that really didn't get some traction. I, I had a multiple gold medal Olympian that I did an interview with that really didn't get a whole lot of traction and some other really high level, very uh, respected uh, fitness personalities that, that really didn't get a whole lot of traction. I thought that's where I was gonna go and I leaned into that. But then I thought, okay, you know, the Joe McDonald, you know, interview did did well, or not an interview, but it was it was a story, kind of a recap of her story that I reached out to her to see about asking some questions, and getting some questions answered, and she was very gracious and and did that for me. She answered some of my questions, and I did another video uh, with the, a Q and A with Joan McDonald that again got some more traction. So I thought, you know, there's this is really working for me. So maybe I'll double down on that. And I came across a, a lady, an incredible lady named Ernestine Shepherd, And I did a similar video, just sort of reviewing her story uh, and what she's about. And again, a, a woman in her 80s who is incredibly fit and has an incredible story. And I loved her story and I, and I, and I love everything about her. And I did a video on my YouTube channel about her that got went even bigger, went even more viral, faster than even the Joan McDonald one. So I kind of thought that was where my niche was going to be, uh, was finding you know people that were in the fitness world, health world that had transformed their bodies, transformed their lives, and I was going to do you know stories on that. The issue was one, I wasn't all that passionate about that, and two, there wasn't a whole lot of people to talk about. So you know I did some dig, did some research, and, and I and I started experimenting with some other things and with with little success but what I did do was I remained very consistent and I think that is the key to ultimately getting monetized was my consistency well this is all very consistent uh you know, as much as a lot of other people jumped on the TikTok bandwagon, I didn't really go there at the beginning. I was dabbling with Facebook. I was dabbling with Instagram. Uh, but I really focused on YouTube and stuck to YouTube uh, and started just delivering a lot of content. I really 
you know, again, at, at my age and the life that I've lived, anyone that follows me certainly knows this, that I, I've lived quite a, an incredibly, incredibly strange, odd, different life. And uh, I enjoy speaking. I enjoy, I'm an open book. So I think that helps a lot. I, I get a lot of feedback from, from people who watch my videos just at how honest and how open I am about my life and all the things that are going on in my life. So the monetization part, I think mostly came just from consistency. I would get a lot of, not a lot of views, but a steady amount of views and a steady amount of subscribers on a weekly and a monthly and daily basis. And then things really started to get some momentum. So early on, I was watching a, a friend of mine, his name's Greg Doucette, and uh, Greg Doucette and I, he was a coach in Nova Scotia for, for bodybuilding. Uh, and I was also a coach uh, for bodybuilding as well. And we had, we coached athletes and the athletes would get on stage and compete. Greg is a professional bodybuilder and um, started doing some YouTube videos. And I, and I started watching them because he's got a really vibrant personality. <laughs> Uh, on his YouTube channel and word was getting out that he was doing, you know, these, these videos, uh, these natty or not videos. So I started watching some of his, um, his YouTube videos and I watched it grow. Like he started when I, when I caught, you know, wind that he was doing YouTube, he had just under a thousand subscribers and I started watching his videos and I really liked his videos. I like he, he and his, his girlfriend, Ali, they do a fan. I think it's funny. I think he's hilarious. And, um, like I say, I've known him for, for many, many, many years in the bodybuilding world. Um, great guy, good guy, and really speaks his mind on, on video. So it really grabbed my attention. I started watching him and he went from, you know, like I say, under a thousand subscribers, just doing these rants, doing these, these videos. And I, and I realized, recognized that he was very consistent uh, almost a video a day. He would do almost a daily video back then. Um, and, and the first ones were horrible, just like mine. My, my, if you go watch my first videos compared to the videos now, and I'm not talking about the content necessarily, but just the quality of the videos from the lighting to the audio to the just everything about them is very, very different now compared to the original ones. I used to do videos where I would just get on a treadmill called them Treadmill Talks. Today's episode brought to you by Cardio First Thing in the Morning. Fasted cardio. And I would just wake up in the morning, put my camera in front of me and press record. And then that is one of the things that I will tell you if you're looking to get, just press record. Just get on there and press record. And as long as you give something of value and as long as you give it from your heart, uh, you're probably going to do okay. And that's what happened. The momentum started to take hold. Uh, people started to just, you know, watch my videos and I would get feedback that said, you know, it, it's so raw and so real. We really enjoyed keep, keep giving us more. Even these raw treadmill talks where I'm just on a treadmill and talking about whatever. Find a way to be kind to someone today. Find a way to be thoughtful. Do a random act today. Uzi nutrition, Uzi fitness, and ranting about that thing. So back to Greg Doucette. He went from, a, you know, 1,000 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers to 100,000 subscribers to now he's at about 1.4 million subscribers and does this full-time, full full-time for a living. He's got a bunch of other side. He's, an, he's a genius businessman, found his niche and dove right in. And I watched how he did it. I watched how he went from where he was to, to where he is now. And you can kind of see there's there's always, there's a trail of hints. There's always hints if you watch uh, YouTube closely and you watch the, the best of the best. There's always some hints and tips there. And if you really watch, you can, you can kind of take some good from that. And I did. I took some things from Greg Doucette and I used them um, based on his success. And then I really wanted to get more educated in the whole YouTube um, you know, the algorithm and how things work and, and thumbnails. And I, I, I didn't really know much about anything, to be honest with you. I was just consistent. The one thing I've always been with my YouTube videos is consistent. I, I try to put out two to three, sometimes four a week. Uh, now I'm cutting back to uh, maybe two a week uh, with, with better quality, better content like this one uh, and hopefully I'm bringing value and that's that's really all I want to do is bring value to you and help you change your life in a positive good way. Then I found Think Media. Think Media was a game changer for me. Think Media, if you haven't discovered Think Media, look them up on YouTube. Literally any question you have about YouTube, about monetizing your channel, about 
proper recording, about proper equipment, about proper lighting, proper sound, pro editing, anything you want to improve your YouTube channel, Think Media is the answer. And I have to tell you that Sean Cannell and, and Heather, like the, the whole Heather Torres, the team at Think Media, Sean Cannell is, is the, he, he, he started Think Media and I watched his journey and, and, and went way back to the beginning and watched a lot of his videos. And I stumbled across, well, I didn't stumble across, I, I subscribed to Think Media, their channel, and they introduced the 1K challenge. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna take part in the 1K challenge. It's free, I'm gonna go on there and, and uh, it's, it's after, I have a full-time job. So the only time that I can record these videos is after work and on the weekends. And I thought, you know, do, do I have a chance? I mean, I, again, I'm watching Greg Doucette and he does this full time for a living. So he's got time to do these recordings. He's got a team now and he's got people that help him with editing and all that stuff. I don't have that. I work full time. I've got a great full time job that I love. And this is a passion. I love doing these, these YouTube videos for educational purposes, for entertainment purposes, to help you develop. And that's why I, I do these. So I found Think Media. And I joined the 1K challenge. And that was a game changer. It changed everything for me. The 1K challenge literally changed everything for me. And through the 1K challenge, they're giving you, you know, a lot of really good tips and hints and, and how to grow your channel and, and the things you can do with your thumbnails. And you've probably noticed some changes in my thumbnails and in my descriptions and all kinds of things. And I started to, to get some real traction while I, when I started implementing these things. So about a year and a half in to this whole thing, I'm doing my thing with Think Media. I joined the VRA, the Video Ranking Academy. I joined the course and I jump in full, full in. I'm fully in. I'm taking the courses at night. I'm doing videos on the weekends. I'm doing videos at nights. And I'm really, really getting some, some great education and some great momentum. Then I found my niche and my niche is personal development. Point blank, it was like a light bulb moment of personal development because that's what I do. I help people develop personally, whether it's with business, whether it's with their, their health, whether it's with nutrition, fitness, I, I help people develop. So my channel is, is about personal development where I help you, you know, to be, be a better person, to be a better business owner, to be fit, more healthy, to be a better spouse, to be a better father, husband, woman, man, whatever it is, I help you using tools and using guidance and that kind of thing to help you grow into the best version of yourself. So what I started to do is I started to implement the tools and the resources, and I'm still doing it, uh, from VRA, from Sean Cannell and the Video Ranking Academy, and I'm using those tools to improve 1% every single video. Every video I try to improve it by 1%. I'm trying to get better every single time, and I'm using the tools and resources that I have at my disposal to make it better. And I noticed that there's some real changes happening. I went from scattered, but consistent, to really focused and still consistent, but more focused. So Monday nights, I record. Tuesday, I edit and release. Wednesday nights, I record. Thursday night, I edit and release. Friday nights, I study. Saturday, I do some more research and upgrade my thumbnails and my descriptions. So I've got a, I've got a schedule for my YouTube channel and that made a big difference as well. So I mentioned this before, I, I track everything. I think that's really important. YouTube does a great job with analytics and I also use uh, vidIQ and TubeBuddy to, to track all of my analytics, I track everything I always have from the very beginning so I can see what works and what doesn't work and then I pivot and I adjust based on what's working and what's not working. So a year and a half in, 1.5, 1.6 years into this journey, I received my first payout from YouTube, AdSense. And in the threshold is $100, so once you hit $100, they pay you. So I made my first $100, 1.6 years into the journey, I got paid. $100 from YouTube and I was ecstatic. Whoa, that's great. So basically $5.55 a month, $5.55 a month. I don't even want to know what that breaks down to with regards to the amount of hours that I put into this uh, from shooting them at nighttime and doing the editing at nighttime. Sometimes my edits take over an hour, hour and a half. And I don't even want to get into the, to the breakdown of the $5.55 a month. But then something started to happen. And the traction from the 1.6 years and the traction from VRA, from Think Media, from Sean Cam, from, from all the team at Think Media and all the tools that I'm using, the resources that I'm using, what took me 1.6 years to get my first payment, I got my second payment four months later. 
So 1.6 years to get my first payment. And then four months later, I received my second payment from YouTube. Not bad. So I'm starting to feel a little sense of, okay, this might be working. Now, again, I'm not anywhere near the Greg Doucette money. He's making a He's making a lot of money. There's a lot of YouTubers making a lot of money. Now, you know, you hear these stories, you see these stories of people making thousands of dollars on their YouTube channel, thousands of dollars a day, thousands of dollars a week, but whatever. And I'm sitting over here just, yay, I made a hundred bucks after one and a half years. And then I made another hundred bucks after four months. So I thought, okay, there's something to this. It's, it's, I gotta keep doing what I'm doing. Be consistent. That's the key. Press record, be consistent and find your, find your niche improve your craft as you go don't wait until everything's perfect to start start now one of the things they teach you at think media is just press record you hear sean Cannell say just press record and that's what i did that's what i do i just press record some of my video i look back on some of my videos they're foolish they're absolutely foolish but i watch them and i still well, the one thing and this is my my lovely bride said this to me as long as you're bringing value as long as you're educating someone as long as you're bringing them value whether it's entertainment or educational uh inspiring motivation as long as you're doing that then then keep pressing record and that's what i do can i get an amen can i get an hallelujah i try to bring a little value the value from this video is to show you that you can be monetized if you follow the right steps, get the right direction, get the right coaching. If you're serious about this, I'm a big fan. I've always said this. I'm a big fan of, of coaching. I'm a coach. I think everyone needs coaching. And if, if I want to be a better golfer, I'm not just going to go and I'm going to get some guidance from a coach to help me with my swing. Not that that's ever going to happen. But with YouTube, it was the same thing. I love this. I enjoy doing these videos. I enjoy the whole process, the YouTube process. I enjoy this, the videos, making them, editing them, uh, doing the thumbnails. I enjoy the research, the analytics. I enjoy it all. And when I, when I thought about, okay, this is a cool little, it's a fun little side thing that I do. It's not, it's nothing I'm doing full time. Like I say, I got a great job that I do, but this is fun for me. It, it's, it is for me. I enjoy this and I enjoy the feedback and I enjoy helping people. And I know that personal development is definitely my niche. And I found that it took me a year and a half to figure that out, by the way, a year and a half to figure out what my niche was. And it was because of Think Media and because of the, the 1K challenge and the different courses and things that I have um, at my disposal now. It was the best investment. Joining VRA was the single best investment that I've made in myself in a long time with regards to education. Uh, it's really teaching me a lot. So if you're going to do this or you're serious about this, look into that. It's, it's, it's worth every single penny. So here we are. And again... I had my first one at 1.6 years. I had my second payment at four months. And then I got my third payment at 1.5 months. So it only took me a month and a half. So I keep cutting it down when I'm getting that, that payment. Now, the goal, obviously, is to make you know $1,000 a month, $2,000 a month, $10,000 a month, potentially. That's the goal. And that's what I want to do. And along the way, I want to teach and I want to educate and I want to motivate and I want to inspire. And that's the whole goal of my channel but I'm seeing that the things that I've done over the years and, and the, the changes that I've made and the education and the, and the work that I'm putting into is now starting to pay off a little bit. The other big thing or the big news was, you know, as I got my third check at 1.5. So the first one, I, I, I like 1.6 to four months to 1.5 months. So maybe after, you know, a little, long, a little while longer, it'll be every month. And maybe it'll be every couple of weeks. It, this is how these things work as long as you're consistent. But the other thing that happened along the way was I have, you know, some, some products and some services that I offer uh, in my descriptions. And I have an affiliate, a couple affiliate links down there from a couple of companies that I truly believe in. One of them is the DNA, uh, you know, company that I use. One is, you know, for my water bottle. There's, there's some affiliate links in there. Affiliate link to my Amazon, to my book. Uh, that you can get for free. And so the links are in the description. And, you know, when people click on the link, you, they buy the book, they buy the water bottle, they buy the DNA kit, whatever the case may be, Canva. I've got affiliate link to Canva because I love Canva. I use Canva every single day. And I really think everybody should use it because it's very, very, it's an incredible design tool that everybody should be using. So I have a link in my, check out the link in my bio. It's there in my description. And uh, if you click on the link, then Canva pays me an affiliate, a little bit of money uh, for referring somebody to their product. And, and I truly believe in the products. I don't have any links 
in my description to anything that I don't use myself and I don't believe in myself. That's one thing that I've made very, very clear. I'm not going to be linked to any companies or services or products that I don't use that I don't that I don't believe in. Everything in the description is linked to things that I use every single day. So Canva, for example, if you sign up for Canva and buy the monthly membership, uh, they do have a free one, by the way, which is really, really good. That's how I started. Now I bought, I bought the professional. Um, but you can, you can sign up and try it for free. And then if you decide to buy it, then Canva pays me as a small, it's, it's not a whole lot of money, but it's a little bit of money. So after that 1.5 months, because there's more to this than just getting AdSense revenue. After the 1.5 months, I also received checks in the amount of $250. So the YouTube channel itself made $350 for me in that one month, which again, is not a ton of money, but for a lot of money, $350 extra dollars for doing YouTube videos at night and on the weekends is, is, is okay. That 350 bucks can help pay for a car payment or help pay some, buy some food, whatever the case may be. It's pretty good. And if you can double down on that and then double again, then double again, it's all about consistency. So the keys to all of this is find something you're passionate about and talk about that. Be consistent. Be consistent. That's that. Be consistent. Just press record. Get 1% better. I'm stealing all this stuff from Think Media, by the way, because that's who taught me all of this. Um, a lot of this. I knew some of it instinctively, but I love that when I went joined the Video Ranking Academy that I learned so much more. And a lot of it was just sort of, you know, okay, yeah, I am on the right track doing the right things. But be consistent, improve 1% at a time, and then get some guidance, get some coaching. You know, go watch the Think Media videos, go watch the Think Media the podcast, go listen. Do what you have to do to educate yourself to get 1% better, and then the monetization will happen. So that's how it didn't happen overnight. It took me a while to get to the threshold with the subscribers. It took me a while to get to the threshold with the views. The view count hours actually happened fairly quickly because of the volume I was putting out. So it didn't take a lot of subscribers to get me the volume of views because I had so many videos out that people were watching consistently. If you only put one video out a month, it's going to take you a lot longer to get the views than if you put out one, two, three a week. And that was sort of my motto. Now, again, you might not have a lot to talk about like I do. I'm a talker in case you didn't notice, but do that. Do it, do it that way to me is a little bit better and you get better. You get better at this with practice and consistency. So there it is. That's my monetization, how I got monetized from YouTube finally. And I'm going to do a follow-up video of this in probably another six months to a year, just to let you know where I'm at with regards to the monetization and the different things that I'm doing to generate revenue from my YouTube business please check out my description and some of the links in there. Click on the links. Uh, there's some really useful tools, resources, uh, some software. There's some good stuff down there that really will help you. It really will help you improve your YouTube channel and get monetized. Check out the links below. Click on the links. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing, for following. God bless.